Hello everybody, welcome to Nextur. My name is Arash and I'll be your instructor in this tutorial. Do you want to learn how to make stylized environments for films and games? So come join me in Nextur's stylized environment creation for films and games. Since the tutorial is going to be about stylized environments, we're going to talk about a stylization and how different that is to a realistic approach. In the beginning stages, we'll learn how to create stylized art and how to distinguish between realistic and stylized. And check a roadmap for the project to make sure that everything is going to be as planned. We start with the block out to make sure that the ideas are going to be fine and according to the references that we have. And then after block out, we go for creating modular kits based on the scales that we got from the block out stage. And we learn some techniques on how to make those kits modular and reusable. One of the benefits of the course is that we learn how to make everything reusable. We try to reuse as much as possible from the content that we have created to save a lot of time on production and create such a beautiful scene in just a short amount of time. We're gonna make stylized materials and learn how to exaggerate some forms and bend some rules to create the stylized results. And for creating 3D models as well, we learn how to bend the form and create irregularities to make it look stylized and cartoony. And of course, we have a dedicated chapter to creating a stylized foliage and how to create a foliage kit and how to reuse it to create different variations from only one kit. And then finally, it's going to be about lighting and rendering in a stylized scene to capture that cartoonish look that we know from stylized environments. Okay, if you're interested enough, join me in this one. My name is Arash from Nextut. Looking forward to have a great learning experience together. Okay? See you in the course.